guys, it's Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and this is the introduction video to my paid tutorial series, Wise Owl Charm Necklace. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make these darling little owl beads, and um, I've got a whole bunch of different examples here, and we're going to learn how to make the cane for the wing of the owl. And we're also going to learn how to make a little book bead. Now I've done these before, but I've got a, a bit of an update on them. And they're just so cute and charming. And then we'll also learn how to make the um, a little stamped charm to go on a pendant or a charm holder. So I think you're going to really like it. I will show you some other examples of this little owl. And the neat thing about this little guy is that um, he looks quite different depending on how you make him. Um, he can be long and lean or he can be short and chubby and he can have a um, just the way the expressions turn out, he can have um, a sweet darling little face or he can look a little bit annoyed. <laughs> and um, here I've used the, the owl bead on, a, um, on some earrings where I've used a stick pearl for the little branch and they look quite lovely. Now this um, little owl bead was uh, inspired by um, an owl that has uh, taken up residence in our neighborhood and I've never seen him but I hear him in the evening and at night hooting away he's just a sweet little guy and I guess there's um, the neighbors have seen him and they say he is a gray, a gray owl but these little owls were inspired by him and also um, there's a another polymer clay artist who makes really neat little uh, bird beads and she does these wonderful um, <laughs> dragged uh, wings that look quite neat and so when I was putting together my owl bead I decided that I would design the cane along the same kind of lines as her um, the name of the artist is uh, Joan Taylor and she does some really neat stuff so you will want to check her out as well but I just thought I'd show you all the different things. Oh, and one more thing I've got here is I've used this little um, owl, little wise owl on a bookmark, which is a great idea because of course owls are wise and smart and are perfect for reading and that kind of thing. So I think you're really going to enjoy this tutorial and I will see you in the next video of this series. Mm -hmm.